Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by Noah's YouTube channel. You can call me Dan, and today we're going to learn how to make a Pixelmon 4.0.4 server on Minecraft version 1.8. Now, there is no plugin support for the sole purpose that that is not a thing that is available right now. The latest version in Minecraft that has plugin support with Pixelmon is 1.710, which is like Pixelmon version 3.4 or something like that. Um, but in these latest versions, there is no plugin support for a Pixelmon server, so you gotta deal with what you get. We're just gonna jump right into this one. It's a very simple process, shouldn't take you too long. Um, some things you're gonna need are a Forge installer and the latest version of the Pixelmon Universal Jar. So, first step is you want to go to this website and download the latest recommended installer. Now, once you've downloaded the latest Forge installer or the latest recommended installer, as I usually say, um, you're going to go ahead and run it and install server. Now, you're going to want to choose a different directory from your .minecraft. I have already made a file on my desktop for that purpose. And once you've made the directory and selected it, you can go ahead and click OK. But I've already done that to save time. Now, the first step you want to go ahead and take is open up your Minecraft server 1.8 jar. Now, this may take some time, but there's a second step you have to take right after that. And that would be to agree to the EULA text. So EULA is just Minecraft's terms and uh, conditions, essentially. And you just go ahead and write true, not true, true, right there. Once you've done that, hit save, and you're good to go to go ahead and run the Minecraft Server 1.8 jar. Now I'm going to let this run, and I'll get back to you guys in about a few seconds here to show you what will pop up after that. Now ladies and gentlemen, once that is done, you're going to go ahead and click down here in the folder and make a new text document, and we're going to label that run. And I'm pretty sure if you've made a server before, you're going to know what this next step is. Now I'm going to leave this code down in the description below for you to use at your leisure. But once you've copied and pasted this code in and changed your arguments right here to whatever is fit with your computer, you're going to go ahead and save it, and then you're going to go ahead and save as. Once you click save as, you're going to delete txt and write bat for bat. And then you're going to change as save type for all types and click save. Once you've done that, there should be a bat file now that you could double click and run. Now this process will also take a little bit because you're starting Forge for the first time, so we'll get back to you when all the files are created. Alright, now once all that's done, there's going to be a command prompt for your server, and then you also have this prompt over here for the Minecraft server. Now, they're both going to be running, and you're going to need them both running for the length that you're going to want your server on, so you can just go ahead and minimize them unless you need to run some commands. Now after that, you may want to restart your server just to get everything saved up, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't believe this is a necessary step but I've just gotten into the gist of doing that normally whenever I've made one of these servers before. Now once you've restarted your server if you did you can go ahead and go to multiplayer on your Minecraft and go ahead and join your local host as you did not forward your IP address unless you already did which I did not go over so if you did that it still shouldn't matter if you cl if you type in local host you should be able to connect to your server that's running off your computer. And we're gonna go ahead and hop into the world here and we're going to see it's going to take a little bit of time to render. Um, this is primarily because you're running an instance of Minecraft and a server on your computer at the same time. So maybe a little slow at the time. And you're also rendering in a brand new world. Now we are aware that the Minecraft server works. We're going to go ahead and disconnect and minimize Minecraft and go to our final step, I believe, to creating this server. You're going to go ahead and stop your server and save everything, open up your mods folder that is now existing, and take the Pixelmon jar that you downloaded from this website, which will be linked below, and you're going to go ahead and download the latest recommended version of Pixelmon and jam it into the mods folder for the server. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and run that, and we'll get back to you when the whole thing is open and ready to go so we don't have to wait this whole time. Alright, now after waiting for a few moments for the server to open, we're going to go ahead and go back to multiplayer and go to our Dark Connect, type localhost, and try to join one more time. Now this also may take a little bit because you yourself will have a mod, and it just, might just take a little bit for everything kind of to fill in, and just be patient, don't try to like 
X out of Minecraft if something freezes. Let it do its thing. It's, it, may, it may take a while. Now, I'm always going to choose Charmander for this one because I'm a terrible human being. Okay, now after waiting a few seconds for Charmander to pop up because I thought I did something wrong and he wasn't popping up at first, uh, he should pop up or whichever Pokemon you po uh, chose should pop up pretty quickly after you join. Um, if, you, if not, something might be wrong with the server or your client. But we can go ahead and test and send out Charmander and wait a few seconds. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. There we go. All right. Now it looks like things are still kind of loading in and popping up. So, um, you know, don't be discouraged if everything is running a little slow. That's kind of just everything coming together to make the uh, Pixelmon pie, I guess you could say. But we could find that, you know, we got some spawning Pokemon here, or Pixelmon, whatever you want to say, I guess. I don't know. Not really sure. Um, and we could hop up here. And we could see that <laughs> I'm not getting the best frame rates right now. Um, now, in the end, we have successfully installed the Pixelmon server, and we've seen that it all works and everything has come together. So you can sit back, relax, drink some tea, and enjoy some Pixelmon with some friends of yours. Now guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video today. Uh, I went ahead and kind of made a plan of, you know, kind of doing a weekly video sort of thing. So hopefully I'll get this video done, rendered, and edited, and all that by the end of the day. I'll probably get it, um, put it on YouTube fairly quickly here because these how-to videos run pretty short and it's pretty simple for my computer to render these kind of videos. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you keep coming back because there should be more content coming soon. Um, not only how-to videos, but uh, Steam Summer Sales coming up, so probably a few games coming out that I'm excited to get. Um, and I might do some series and stuff, but again, you know, if you got any requests uh, for me to play any games, if any content you want to see... Um, go ahead and put it down below. Ask any questions down below too. I might have left something out that's very vital that I just kind of instinctively did and didn't go over. But um, I have been getting some questions on my other videos and that's fine. I usually answer them within a few days. It's just sometimes I can't exactly log on to YouTube every day um, with you know me going out or working or something like that. I just can't get to it every day. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and like the video because I know you love the video. And please subscribe because there will be more content coming in the future. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you all later on.